like clock. I can't stop. Fuck around, make my 40 pop. No pop con. I pop pistols. Reaping my body. Clothing, no issue. Bitch, you look sick. You need a tissue. You drop a body. I just might bless you. I'm at your session. What is going on, guys? It's Wraith here, back with another video. Now, in today's video, I'm going to be telling you guys and explaining to you on how to improve extremely, extremely fast. Because there's so, so, so many players that I know who will play this game eight, nine hours a day and they're like, oh my god, I've been playing for a month straight. How am I not getting better? Well, there's a ton of things that can actually be the reason as to why you're not improving even if you spend a lot of time in the game. And also, if you don't have that much time to spend playing Fortnite, these tips will help you get better extremely fast without putting as much time as some of the pros are or whoever it is. And for those of you, for those of you who are wondering, I am getting absolutely everything like the keyboard cam, stream camera, everything on Wednesday, last, maybe potentially Thursday. And by then, by the end of the week, I definitely will be up and streaming. So hopefully you guys are looking forward to that. If you are, let me know down in the comments. And like I promised all you guys, I will be playing with a ton of you guys in the comments. Just leave your name down below and I'll make sure to play with you guys in some 1v1s or some games or whatever you guys want to do. And yeah, let's get right into today's video. Again, make sure you use creator code WRAITHFN in the item shop. You already know what it is and let's get right into it. So the first tip I'm going to be talking about is fix how you play Fortnite. So I kind of talked about this at the start where some people can be playing 14 hours a day and barely improving or not getting that much better. And they're like, well, what the hell? Like I've been practicing for hours. I've been playing like, what? why am I not improving? Yet some people can be playing four hours a day and be getting better four times as quick as the other person. So the reason for that and why you're not improving or some people aren't improving even though they're putting time and time in and out in the game is because they're not utilizing their time properly. And this is so, so, so important to keep in mind that if you're not actually practicing, you're just playing, you're not utilizing your time properly. You can do this at the same time as a pro athlete. If you, for example, want to get better uh, as a wide receiver in football. If all you're doing is just throwing this ball back and forth to your, th your buddy, you're probably not getting the best amount of practice. You actually have to be running drills. You have to be doing things that kind of push you out of your comfort zone so you can improve and get better at things you're not good at as a wide receiver. Yet when it comes to Fortnite, if you think about it, if you're just playing squads or duos or prop hunt or whatever the thing is, or you're just playing creative hide and seek, or again, just squads is the big one, you're not going to be improving that much. Sure, you'll be get, like you'll be playing the game and stuff. Even in duos, you'll be playing the game. But if all you're doing is just taking the odd fight here or there, you'll die with your squad, you watch your guy, you watch your buddies for 30 minutes. Well, that 30 minutes that they're playing and you're not playing, you're not improving. You're only probably going to be taking two to three fights every single game. So you're only getting, let's say, two minutes of practice per game right so you're not putting that much time into actually improving even though you think you are you're not actually putting that much time yet as someone else is playing creative maps to help improve their aim their editing their 1v1ing where every single 1v1 every single two minutes well every single actually in that two minutes they're getting better at fighting people if you're playing storm wars whatever that entire time you're getting better at end game so if someone's utilizing their time better by playing things that are specific to what they need to improve, well, then they're going to get way, way better. Just think about it. Like I said, if basically you're just chilling there playing squads, you're only using actually three or four minutes of that entire 35 minute game to improve. But if you're playing something like a creative map, you're using that entire time to improve. So extremely, extremely important to remember what you're putting your time into and if you can improve putting your time like if you can do something else that would help you improve quicker now the second tip i'm going to say and this kind of rolls into the first one is use creative maps they were created for a reason they are a big addition to the game and they help so 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 much kind of like i said there's people always saying oh my aim or editing isn't good or my end game isn't good or whatever isn't good well, there's so, so much things that you can do to actually help improve that just in creative mode quicker than you would in game. Again, if you're just playing solos, even sometimes solo squads, if you're working solely on improving your aim, you're only taking so many fights per the, per game. And then the rest of the time, you got to be loading in, you got to be queuing in, you got to be running around the map, finding people. But if you're playing a creative aim map, that entire time, you're just working solely on that muscle memory of improving your aim. 
if it's for example let's say I don't know you want to practice your end game and you're sitting in an arena game for 25 minutes with one kill and then in the arena since they're not that good right now there's only three people left end game well then what are you really utilizing your time for because in that 30 minutes you could have been practice storm wars and you would have got like nine or ten rotations of storm wars in which is very very close to what an end game simulation would be so again use creative maps they're so so good a lot of people don't use them which i find very impressive because they are so good and you can utilize them to become such a better player way quicker than someone just playing squad just someone playing arena whatever the case is trust me if you want to get better quickly use creative maps i have tons of them on my channel there's tons of them you can look up trust me it's definitely worth it now my next tip is figure out what you're bad at and fix it for example if you're an unreal editor and all you're doing is just continuously practicing your editing even though like you're very good at it sure it's good to keep like your skills up it's good to make sure that you don't really like lose all your skill because you want to be practicing editing so you don't lose it right but for example if your aim's absolutely terrible but your editing's good well then it's kind of counterintuitive because basically you want to be good at both right so instead of practicing editing editing all your time maybe spend a little bit more time practicing your aiming if you lack confidence, watch a couple videos that I've made or other YouTubers have made on how to improve your confidence. A couple things you can do is just practice taking more fights, like W keying people more so you get more confident beating people. There's a bunch of things that you can do to actually help every single problem you have. The main problem people have is isolated and what's wrong with them and they don't think that they need to improve it. They just continue grinding the same thing over and over. For example, 1v1s in like build fights all they're doing is practice building yet they're aiming and editing aren't very good well maybe practice that a little bit more and you'll do better in 1v1s in general right so it's very very important to figure out what's wrong with your gameplay and improve upon it and the one best way i say you can do that is either ask your buddies who you play with or your irl buddies and they will say okay well it looks like your editing is kind of the problem or it looks like your game sense or whatever the case is it looks like that's the problem and if you learn how to fix that then it's going to help you improve so, so much. And if you don't have a buddy to help you do that, just watch your own VOD reviews, save your clips, figure out what you're doing wrong, look at your old clips, and trust me, it'll help you way, way much, especially in the long run, to help improve you as a player and get to that next level. Now, the next tip I'm going to say, and I say this so much, and some of you guys still don't do it, I don't know why, it's the best way honestly well one of the best ways to improve as a player extremely fast and it's to watch pro players play not only is like am i saying it's extremely important to do this but pro players all the time like benji fishy bizzle phase dubs who are all the best players in the world always always talk about how important VOD review is even though that they're one of the best players in the world they talk about how much they VOD review other pros because they can learn so so much from them all the time because there's other things that pros are doing that you may not be doing and trust me if you can watch and learn and figure out what they're doing properly and analyze it and put it into your own game you're going to become a much much better player so for example if i'm watching phase dubs i don't just watch him and like kind of nod off or whatever i watch him to see what he's doing when he gets third party what's he doing when someone else boxes what he's doing when he boxes whatever the case is there's so much things that you can learn and figure out what the pro players doing that you're not doing and that will help you so so much i guarantee you if you watch more pro players play and you try and learn from what they do and learn from even their mistakes then trust me it will be a way better player way quicker than someone just playing the game because they're only playing how they play instead of how actual what pros do they're not putting into their own game that's why it's so important to watch pro players play and everyone has room to improve just remember that even players like mongrel and bizzle that's why they still watch a lot of reviews they still do all that because they still have room to improve now the last quick tip is stay hydrated and get enough sleep you're not really get if you're not at your full you're not going to be improving as much as you possibly can like i said if you can stay up or if you stay up and you only get two hours of sleep you're not going to be learning that fast yet if you get a good sleep you get a good rest you'll be learning at way quicker speed than someone who only gets three to four hours of sleep 
it's just it's kind of that for everything not just fortnite but yeah so hopefully you guys did enjoy this video if you did make sure you smash the like, but like button make sure you hit that subscribe button let me know if you're hyped for this stream down below i'm really really hyped i can't wait to start streaming to you guys and start playing with you guys and yeah that's basically it for today's video leave a like comment subscribe and make sure you guys use creator code wraith fn in the iba shop if you're an absolute beauty and i'll see you guys all in the next one peace Oh, 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 oh,